Hello everybody and welcome back to Feed the Beast Unleashed with me, the Grey Gamer, hiding out in my mud hut. Uh, I say mud because as you can see it's raining, raining, raining. And I'm getting slime. Okay, so what happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. We went and got ourselves an obsidian cleaver. Let me move it up there so you guys can see. Obsidian cleaver. It's got reinforcement three on it. Auto repair because you put moss around the handle. Uh, it's got luck on it. It's got durability plus 500. Then I added 50% more durability to that. And I gave it looting three. So... Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not the best in the game, but it's pretty good. This uh, mycelium uh, pick axe uh, has haste on it, luck, auto repair, durability plus 50%. And the reason the durability is plus 50% is because the durability on this thing is like 3,000 already. It has auto smelt on it. If, you, if I put it in my inventory, hold on, did I just drop it? If I put it in my hand, you can see that the, underneath the purple blade is like orange and red. That's fire. That's where you get the auto smelt. There's uh, moss wrapped around the handle that gives it the auto repair. And there's an emerald on the head which gives it the 50 percent uh, more durability uh, this was made for me by Gractor and uh, I'll show you how this works here in a minute as soon as we go out um, I went ahead and I put a, a furnace down a crafting table and uh, a chest and uh, I'm gonna leave this stuff here because you never know, you might be back, right? But uh, we're going to head on out. And uh, get ourselves this slime with the skeleton in it. care of that guy and took care of that guy all right so let me show you how this pick works basically it auto smelts so I'm hitting this copper ore and I'm hit picking up uh, copper bars now, in Feed the Beast, it looks like the um, ore pockets are bigger and uh, also works on stone. So I'm getting stone and copper ingots. So you see I got 15 copper ingots out of that. Uh, so that's how that works. creeper just blew up and I really wanted the creeper head but anyway we're gonna head on out when we get back to uh, where we're going oh, there's a bat hanging upside down right there that's kind of cool all right we're gonna get back on the uh, on the road up here hopefully you are not jumping on me all right i do have my uh obsidian uh i mean my uh nano suit on so it's got the jetpack built in to the breastplate so i'm going to utilize it to get myself out now Remember where we left off, uh, my overall village is over that way, 
Um, and we're heading this way. Oh, look, pumpkins. We'll harvest a couple of these. In fact, we're going to harvest three of them. And then we're going to. I don't have a hoe. Do I? Do I need a hoe? Do I need a hoe? Well, it'll be dee 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 dee. And I used all my wood. Well. Okay. Quite a few pumpkins here still, so I'm going to go ahead and mosey on. We're going to head in that general direction over that way. So there's a beehive underground, under water. Mainly looking for plants and trees that you don't normally find in the game. And there's a few of them that are around that are unique. There are actually uh, two types of rubber trees in the game now. So, and, uh, and that's oak. Oak. I think this one coming up is a. Obviously, the cherry trees are. different leaves. So I'm going to break one just to see. Oh, this is the other rubber tree. Okay, so you got rubber wood and raw rubber out of it. Um, those are the different ones. I'm going to go ahead and put this back. Um, So those are the other rubber trees, okay, and uh, I'll go up here and see what we can see. There are great trees, that's one over there, that right there is a great tree. That one is used for uh, palm craft stuff. That one right there in front of me. Palm craft, oh, there's some little pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're still moving along. I'm also looking for more berries. Oh, here we go. More mm -hmm. berries, blueberries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this one take that with me and that should grow those should grow back here's some more of that orb that I was telling you about last time on the surface Cobble, I mean gravel. That's tin. In the, in the, okay, so that's a rubber tree. Oh, there's uh, mulberries over there. I've got mulberry, uh, mulberries or whatever they're called already uh, growing back at my place. So I don't really need those. Let's head. In this general direction here. I'm trying to see. Yeah, those are. 
Alright. Let's uh equip our blade here. There's a big uh redwood up there in the loading in in the background. Aha, oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. This is a tree. <laughs> I know the name of it on this. Uh, on the tip of my tongue, and I can't think of it. Okay. Eucalyptus, that's it. And it produces the pink wood. This is a pretty big one. I, I really don't want to take down that big a tree. come back to that one. I saw another tree. Oh, here. Okay, here we go. What does this one look like? This one looks like a willow. A weeping willow. Let's see what this is. That willow wood. Yeah, willow wood. The weeper. We'll get this. Maybe get a couple of saplings out of it. If we can. That way we can um, replant it. We can stay here for a little bit. Use the right tool. Oops. I need to put a hole in there. Go ahead and fill that in. And there's a sapling. See if there's any more. It's getting kind of dark. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, tree. There we go. That's all I wanted. Oh, there's one. There's another one. Okay, so we got. We got some now. So, we can the willows up in the inventory and we'll replant that one. There you go. And just checking my inventory to see if I have any uh, bone, but I don't. So, all right. There's some more trees. All right, let's go that way in a southerly direction okay there's an enderman that's a full grown one and uh, the reason 
I say that is because there is one known as the Enderman Tot. And he's a little short guy, as in Tiny Tot. And the thing is that if you kill him, three others will spawn and be all mad at you. So, I got a skull. Alright. There's some more cotton. But we got cotton. Alright. There's, uh, that's blueberry up on that hill, I think. I want to try to get a creeper head, but the problem with the creepers and me is they tend to blow up on me first. <laughs> so, that being said, I'm not really expecting a whole lot. Okay. Here's some berry bushes. I see a light over in that direction. I think that's a beehive. Over there in this that's a swamp biome. On the mini map you can see. Okay, um, I'm heading in this general direction. You see that area lit up over there? I was here before, and uh, basically I've decided that that's where I'm going to set up my new base. Um, and uh, let me go ahead and get this. I don't know, I just, something about or right on the surface like that just makes me feel good let me uh, utilize my jetpack and uh, oh, there's another willow weeping willow there okay so I came over here and I found this basically this peninsula over here and you see it says uh, GG Vale and uh, that's where I'm going to build my uh, castle, the Grey Vale. And the predominant color, of course, will be gray. <laughs> um, so I came over here earlier and uh, flattened this all out and lit it all up and uh, this is supposed to be a clock so that kind of you look at it and it kind of supposed to give you an idea how much darkness you have going and how close the Sun is to coming up um, but to be honest with you I think I'm almost better off um, well what am I trying to say? Better off uh, looking at the moon and the sun and figuring it out that way. But, hey. Alright, so what we're going to do is, let me, first of all, let me get my skull here. And let's place this bad boy. Yeah, there you go. And uh, that'll warn off the uh, creepers, right? <laughs> so anyway, this is the gray bale. And like I say, this is a, a lot smaller, uh, kind of the same setup that Tipsy Drifter has uh, over here, over there and at his place. And you guys will see that later tonight. Uh in the video that I post because uh, I give you a uh, tour of 
Gractors and uh, Tipsy Drifters place. And Phoenixon is actually going to start recording uh, his own YouTube videos. Um, just getting started with it. So um, he uh, wants to show his own place and post videos about it and uh, so we're gonna let him do that there's some more Enderman um, anyway uh, this was a peninsula right here connected and I said to uh, Phoenix and I said hey uh, how good are you at messing with dynamite and he said oh I like blowing things up so he came over and basically uh, set this off we were gonna record it and uh, he had went to um, put a regular torch down so he could see what he was doing. And he picked up the, this is his story anyway, he picked up the uh, redstone torch instead and basically detonated the, uh, the uh, dynamite that he had placed in here, under here. Uh, before we had a chance to record so we missed out on that so anyway but that was his story I planted these uh, sequoia trees that's what these are but I got a feeling they're not going to grow in this biome um, give you an idea if you hit F3 it'll tell you uh, where you are we're in a plains biome and we're at 64 64 levels also if you look up it's, day, it's daylight now let me go look at this uh, clock and see if it tells me something no see it doesn't tell me anything that looks the same as it did before there's another enderman butter oh, yeah. dirt ball Enderman just drop ahead? I don't think so. Um, anyway, I don't know where they went now. Um, I think I and I found out about that red thing that you guys see the red lines. Um, that's supposed to be the indicator for where mobs will spawn. Um, Anyway, that is uh, uh, mapped to the F9 key, which, mm -hmm. if you guys are familiar with Fraps, that's what Fraps uses for the record. So I need to remap that key, and I just haven't done it yet. So, yeah. All right getting my levels up I don't know why exactly but I am okay so I'm the great gamer and uh, this is where we're going to start our epic uh, build if you will here at the gray mist veil or gray veil um, but yeah I don't know exactly how we're going to build it. I mean, I, I know that the basic layout of it's going to be round. Um, yeah. I'll take you up, up again so you can see that we have this roundish shape with the torches. That's going to be the outer wall, and there will probably be towers and stuff with it. Um, but yeah, I'm the Great Gamer, and uh, we'll catch you next time.